Well, little brother, I don't know how much you've heard wherever you are about what's going on in jolly old Europe. But this chap Grindelwald has been making a lot of noise since you've been away. Charismatic blighter. But the Ministry doesn't like him, nor does the International Confederation. He's upset a few of the bigwigs, and he's gone underground. Anything edible in there? No. Livestock? Um, no. Let me take a look. Excuse me, so, sorry, mm. what's the quickest way to Arizona from here? My mommy, you're all home. Trying to catch you. Hey, what you doing? Get out of the way! This great city sparkles with the jewels of man's inventions. Movie theaters, automobiles, the wireless, electric lights, all dazzle and bewitch us. But where there is light, there is shadow, friend. Something is stalking our city, wreaking destruction and then disappearing without a trace. Oh, so sorry. My case. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm trying to get to the bank here. Mr. Bingley will see you now. He would have done better to have come home promptly when the war ended, gotten a job, and put some money away. This is babka. Everyone who tastes it says it's the best they've ever had. Mr. Kowalski. You gotta try the Ponchkis, okay? It's my grandmother's recipe. The orange zest just... <sighs> Mr. Kowalski. Good day to you. Excuse me, sir. If you need access to that private security deposit box, you're gonna need to get in line. Oh, oh apologies. In a bit of a rush, you see. Don't mind me. Come on now. Come to Mum. I've got a lovely shiny coin for you. Come on. Galleons. So how very clumsy of me. Better go get that. So, uh, excuse me. So, miss. Too close to the tellers. Can't risk them seeing me. No, 
no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no. Robbing the bank? Don't be silly. I'm just here to retrieve my pet over there. What is that thing? Is that a rat? Oops. So I didn't think that would be quite so loud. Oh, you're going to steal the money, huh? Security! you may be carrying now go oh, there hey we ain't looking for any trouble boys this has been a complete misunderstanding did you just electrocute that guy oh mama forgive me what have i gotten myself into come on <laughs> Sorry. Right now, if you can just stay still. Oh. What is that? A stick insect? You just keep that thing in your pocket? This is a bow truckle. Its long limbs are especially good at picking locks like this. However, it looks like my new friend might need some help. Come out with your hands up! We have you surrounded! I swear, I don't even know this guy. This is all but a terrible mistake! <laughs> For the last time, you pilfering pest, pause off what doesn't belong to you. Now, unfortunately, you have seen it far too much. Uh, if you wouldn't mind if you just stand there. Over in a jiffy. <laughs> Who are you? Newt's commander, and you are? You could not have chosen a worse time to let that creature loose. Oh. I'm taking you in. Taking me in where? Magical Congress of the United States of America. Tell me you took care of the Nomad. And you wiped his memory, right? The Nomad with the case? Uh... That's a Section 3A, Mr. Scamander. So, Tina, huh? what's all this about? Mr. Graves, sir, this is Mr. Scamander. He has a crazy creature in that case, and it got out and caused mayhem in a bank. We have just as much right to exist as we do. So with proper protection, and not to mention an educational program, which is what I've been working on. Protecting them? 
What about the statute of secrecy? Not to mention the claws and the fangs and the flames and the venom. <clears throat> All right, then. Let's see the little guy. Gotta get that case back from the nomad before he opens it. But first, Abernathy asked me to fix this thing up, and you can lend a hand since you're the one who got us into this mess. Um, I suppose I can give it a go. If it means that I can get out more quickly. This gate allows you to revisit moments. Once we've taken care of everything we need to do here, you should come back. Um. Somehow, I doubt the Makuza Auras are going to welcome me back here with open arms. Well, we need to move on. The sooner we track down that Nomad, the sooner we can... Wait! Where's my wand? Ugh, I must have left it at my desk. Listen, we can't waste any more time. You go on ahead and find that Nomad. I'll catch up to you. Not a problem. I mean, how hard can it be to track down a Muggle? In an enormous, strange city I've never been to before. I'm sure that's completely unrelated, right? Well, looks like I found him. But if I want to get anywhere near him, I'll need a way to clear these muggles. What's going on over there? Hmm. Well, no doubt there's something in here I can use. Look out below! Hey, seen any witches lately? That did the trick. He's hurt! He looks ill. It was open? Just this switch. This is all just some big nightmare, right? Ah. For the both of us, Mr. Kowalski. Okay, you know what? You're both coming with me. This is my sister. Mm. Want to put something on, Queenie? Oh, sure. <clears throat> you need to sit down, honey. Oh, that's rough. His girl just gave him the brush off. He didn't get the money he wanted for his bakery. You bake, honey? I love to cook. <clears throat> you know how to read my mind? You're a legitimate. Most guys think what you was thinking the first time they see me. Huh. What would you like? Well, perhaps what you had last time, you, uh, you enjoyed that, I recall. My vision showed only the child's immense power. I'm still looking. Mr. Greaves, if I knew whether it was a boy or a girl, even... Use your natural gifts, Credence. You are sensitive, observant, Highly intelligent. Do you think I'm a freak? Could you stop reading my mind for a second? Don't get me wrong. I, I love it. This meal, it's insanely good. I mean, this is what I do. I'm a, I'm a cook, and, and this is like the greatest meal I've ever had in my life. <laughs> oh, you slay me. I've never really talked to a nomad before. We're all new measures like you. I am not flirty. I would love the recipe for the strudel. That's a great labor-saving device, huh? Yeah, it's, a, it's just a basic locomotion charm. Oh, hey. You okay, honey? Miss Goldstein, I think Mr. Kowalski could do with an early night. Okay, you guys can bunk in here.
نشستین چشتی گرده reason I'm here. I'm gonna put him back where he belongs. I'm studying them and gently trying to educate my fellow wizards about them. To be honest, I'd probably get on better with animals than I do with people. to make this up. Hand out your leaflets. I'll know if you dump them. <laughs> Tell me if you see anything suspicious. looking for a place for tomorrow's meeting. I'm sorry, Ma, I didn't, I didn't realize it was so late. His name's Credence. She seems to hate him the most. Please, Ma. Curious. I need to get going. Find everyone who's escaped before they get hurt. Oh, Niffler's gone. Of course he has, little monkey. Oh, well, we can find him later. For now, will you tell me, so where do you think a medium-sized creature who likes broad open plains, sort of water holes, trees, that sort of thing, wh where might she go? In New York City? Plains? <laughs> 
uh, Central Park. Central Park? Ah, oh, right, okay. Well, um, you best wait here for now, and I'll be back in a jiffy. Commander! Thanks. Very much. I was watching you at dinner. People like you, don't they, Mr. Klasky? Well, I'm, I, I'm sure people like you too, huh? Not really, no. I annoy people. Where exactly are we? Uh, Diamond District? like this? Nifflers, and yes, they are known for this sort of thing, but this one seems to be quite the expert at mischief. Absolutely nothing for you to worry about. This should help to attract her. <laughs> Put this on. Tell me, has anyone ever believed you? You told them not to worry? But why would I have to wear something like this? This animal of yours has really done a number on this place. It's a mess. It must be a few tons easy.
shall be no reward for idleness. And so while the odious saloon has been banished, private parlors and other speakeasies selling tea and coffee must be quashed. And so, citizens of New York, under my guidance, there shall be no repeal of the prohibition, because state a strong America. Witches! Huh? Huh? This is witchcraft! <laughs> I want to see my lawyer! Good show, Mr. Krasky. Call me Jacob. <laughs> I'm sorry to interrupt, but this is critical. You better have an excellent excuse for this intrusion, Miss Goldstein. Yesterday, a wizard entered New York with a case. This case, full of magical creatures, and unfortunately, some have escaped. Scamander. You know this man? Yes, wizarding families in Europe. What in the name of Merlin are you doing in New York? I came to buy an apple as a pass sir. Were well, there witnesses to this attack? You know which of your creatures was responsible, Mr. Scamander. No creature did this. Don't pretend. You must know what that was. Look at the marks. It was an obscure. You go too far, Mr. Scamander. There is no obscurio in America. We register every birth, every wand. And Graves, destroy that case. Don't hurt those creatures. Please, you don't understand. Nothing in there is dangerous. Nothing. Arrest them. to the cells. It's an Obscurus. I'm telling you, it's an Obscurus! <sighs> I'm so sorry about your creatures, Mr. Scamander. I truly... <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, could someone please tell me what this Obscurio, Obscurious thing is, please? Young wizards and witches sometimes try to suppress their magic to avoid persecution. So instead of learning to harness or to, to control their powers, they develop what was called an obscurus. It's an unstable and controllable dark force that busts out and attacks, and then vanishes. You too. Grace wants to see you. You're an interesting man, Mr. Commander. Just like your suitcase, I think there is. There's much more to you than meets the eye. I wonder what you can tell me about this. It's an obscurus. No! But it's not what you think. It can't survive outside of that. It could not hurt anyone, Tina. So it's useless without the host. Uh, useless? That is a parasitical magical force. What on earth did you use it for? No. <laughs> Mr. Graves. You brought this Obscurus into the city of New York in the hope of causing mass disruption, breaking the statute of secrecy and revealing the magical world. You know that can't hurt anyone. You know that. You are therefore guilty of a treasonous betrayal of your fellow wizards that are sentenced to death. No! Don't do this, Bernadette. Please. It don't hurt. 
Wait, you want me to take a message to your family? Let her go! you here. Queen! Where are you going? I, uh... I'm sick, Mr. Abernathy. Oh. Oh. Dean, that's a great idea. I always wanted to meet him. Narlac. He was an informant of mine when I was at Order. He used to trade in magical creatures on the side. Well, he wouldn't happen to have an interest in animal droppings, would he? He's interested in anything he can sell. Those who are wanted need apply. The rest of half of the people in here. Hmm. Give it back, Credence. Where'd you get this? Betty Burr just lent it to me. What is this? It was mine. Betty Burr just lent it to me. on your head, Mr. Scamander. Why should I help you instead of turning you in? Something invisible from wreaking havoc around Fifth Avenue. They sent in the exterminators, but they couldn't find nothing. No. seriously think I would just walk away from that bounty, did you? Nothing personal, kid. It's just business. <laughs> Got a special concoction. 
action just for you, pal. What the? Whoa! See, I don't like that. You're making me see red. How about another bottle? No, 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 no! I just managed to trap that thing. <laughs> This divine creature. Take that, you Probably double Probably the second crossing. most fiery thing to come out of a dimensional yeah. rift I've ever seen. <laughs> Who is she? <laughs> Shall we? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't see a thing in here. Dougal. Dougal. Come on, buddy. His sight operates on probability, so he can foresee the most likely immediate future. It's okay, Dougal. It's just me. Is your arm still poorly? Will you let me take a look? You just come... Oh, in the name of Merlin. Oh, well, that looked expensive. Dougal, did you fall? Are you okay? Let's get up there. Thank <laughs> you. 
Jacob. Wow, you did it. You caught it. Well, that's incredible. I know, huh? <laughs> Modesty. Out you come now. Modesty. There's no need to be afraid. <laughs> Why me? Why'd you choose me to help you? You have magical ancestry, but no power. But you said you could teach me. You're unteachable. Your mother's dead. That's your reward. Credence, I owe you an apology. What you doing, Credence? Credence, you are beautiful. Can't you see, Credence? Jeez. Is that it? That, that's the obscure thing? If I don't come back, look after my creatures. It's everything that you need to know is in there. You heard him? Look after them. Keep hold of that, honey. Not again. This time, I'm going to save it. Credence! There's no need to hide, no need for shame. We both had to hide what we want and who we are. Credence, right? From the Second Salem Church. But I could. understand what's happening to you, so I can help you to control it. There it is. Get it. Get the Obscurus. Wait, wait, no, wait, wait, wait. No! Too late.
Credence, you are an Obscurial. A wizard whose magic has been suppressed. Were you punished for it? That's usually how it starts. I think that the Obscurus comes first as a friend, as a comfort, perhaps. Was that how it was for you? Now tell him how you killed the last Obscurial you met, Scamander. Commander just wants to put you in his case with all the other freaks. Why waste your power? Why not use it? He can't be properly harnessed. Don't listen to him, Credence. on pursuing this. Credence has a greater purpose. The Obscurial is our weapon. Surging through you. Understand the Obscurus has always been a friend. He completes you. Oh. Slightly problematic. I'd like you to relieve Mr. Graves of his wand and escort him back. Mr. Scamander. The magical community is exposed. We cannot obliviate an entire city. Actually, I think we can.
can be no exceptions. I'm sorry, but even one witness, you know the law. No. We'll think of something. We'll hide you. This is for the best. I was never even supposed to be here. Newt only kept me around uh. because... Hey, Newt, why did you keep me around? Because I like you. Because you're my friend. And I'll never forget how you held me, Jacob. Jacob. It's just like waking up, right? Been, um... Hasn't it? I'll send you a copy of my book, if I may. <laughs> I'd like that. How would you feel if I, if I gave you your copy in person? I'd like that. <laughs> Very much. Oh. Mm. You know, New York is considerably more interesting than I expected. your ideas from Mr. Kowalski? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> they just come. You bake, honey? I love to cook. Well, hey, another satisfied customer. It was the orange zest, right? <laughs> Somebody blows your nose and you want to keep it? Listen! You smell something? So what do we do? Okay. I have a plan. I know exactly what to do. Get her! I hope we could take care of this quietly. Yes, sir. Don't worry. We handle this kind of thing all the time. <laughs> It's just occurred to me we really haven't had a completely successful test of this equipment. There it is. On the ceiling.
any guess. Gozer will be here. Such a chore now, was it? We got it! What is it? Will there be any more of them? <coughs> Sir, what you had there <coughs> was what we refer to as a focused, non-terminal repeating phantasm or a class 5 full roaming vapor. Real nasty one, too. Thanks so much. Dan, it's you. Oh, hi. Yes, Lewis, it's me. Uh, how's just exercising? I did a 20-minute workout on my machine, played it back in high speed, so it only took 10 minutes. I got a great workout. Bye, Lewis. Okay, so I'll see you later, huh? I'll give you a call. <sighs> I don't believe this. Will you please leave? Okay. Well, I gotta get some sleep. I'm dying. You don't look good. I don't? Well, you look better. Cease and desist all commerce orders, seizure of premises and chattels, ban on the use of public utilities for non-licensed waste handlers, and a federal entry and inspection order. Do you want some, uh, coffee? Shut that thing down, and we are not going to be held responsible for contract, whatever happens. Be responsible. No, we won't be. Shut it off. I've quit better jobs than this. Um, I, I've never seen anything like this before. <laughs> Looks extraordinarily bad. Look at all the junk food. Slow down. Chew your food. It's a girl. It's Gozer. Well, whatever it is, it's got to get by us. Right. Mm -hmm. 
Solve your little problem. the Ghostbusters.
Hello? Aaron? You put our book online without my permission. I don't need your permission. There is no experimental backing for anything in that book, and it makes me look like a crazy person. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. I've heard terrible things about you. <laughs> ha. Holtzman works with me in the lab. She's a brilliant engineer and very loyal. She would not abandon you. Okay, you know what? I thought we could have an adult conversation, but apparently we can't. Aaron, if you really don't believe in this stuff anymore, why were you looking for the book? A man came to see me at my work saying his building was haunted. What building? The Aldridge Mansion. It's obviously a joke. Oh! <sighs> Abby, wait! Hey, taxi! Hey, hey, Abby! Come on! Please, Abby, just take the book down. Please. All right, all right. But you have to introduce us to this guy at the Aldridge Mansion. Yes, of course. Excuse me! Excuse me! We're not open! Can I help you? Yes, hi. We're looking for Ed Mulgrave. I wanted to, uh, introduce the hi people. Hi there. But Ed, Ed Mulgrave died 15 years ago. Ed's a ghost! <laughs> so... So who is this? Well, that's Ed's son. Ed Jr. Okay, that's obviously who I meant. Well, how about you take us across the street? I gotta get in there, set up. Let's go on a tour. You're gonna die in there. Strange reading here. It is a fantastic book, oh. you know? That's why people were interested in talking about it on television. It was on a college channel at the University of Michigan. You didn't even show up. I just got tired of being called crazy. <gasps> you okay? No, I'm good. Thank you for asking. Oh. Huh? I didn't even know it did that. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? The basement door is open. Hmm. Class 4 apparition. Just be cautious. It's okay. She seems peaceful. Hello. I'll tell you what just happened. We saw a ghost. We saw a ghost. We saw a ghost. We saw a ghost. Ghosts are real. <laughs> ghosts are real. We saw a ghost and the ghosts were real. Ghosts are real. Ghosts are real. I believe in ghosts because I just saw one. They're real. Trust in your abilities and the universe shall bend before your will. Hey, weirdo, we got a clogged toilet in 1843. Absolutely. Nothing would make me happier. Uh. Aaron, we're sorry that you lost your job, but there has to be a glasses half full aspect of it. I mean, we saw a real ghost, and she was beautiful. Till she dislocated her jaw and ecto-projected all over you. Okay, we are on the cusp of something here. A real discovery. Unlike your university, this institute is 100% behind us. Really? We just have to go upstairs and ask for more money. Come on, I, I think we can really do this. We can become the first scientist to prove the existence of the paranormal. Hey, there's the air and I remember. Welcome back. Me and Slim will go liberate some more equipment. I'll go find a sweet new base of operations.
I've got some fantastic properties lined up for you today. The first one is an old firehouse just a few blocks from here. Shall we? This beautiful firehouse was converted to a loft in 2010. The spacious interior would be perfect for heavy duty equipment, and the monthly rent is only a modest 99 billion studs. How much? Lady, we're scientists, not millionaire movie stars or video game developers. Everyone loves a fixer-upper. We'll take it. <sighs> it's a dump. Nothing a lick of paint and 30 gallons of industrial bleach won't fix. Cataclysm begins, laborers such as yourself will be among the last led to the butchery. So, make the most of your extra time. You are just a bundle of joy, ain't you? You have a good day with your crazy self. Wow, I wonder what train he taking. Is he going on the tracks? Oh, man. Hey, uh... I'm here about the receptionist job. <laughs> You're hired. <laughs> cool. Oh, uh, ma'am? Hi, ma'am. If you're waiting for takeout, you should really wait downstairs. Oh, I, it's the, the magazine was here, so I, I, I don't know. I just thought that might be your waiting room. Also, um, I got chased by a ghost. <laughs> incident they'll understand what part of that would they understand He's going to Queens. He's going to be the third scariest thing on that train. I almost got killed. Yeah, I know. It was so awesome. All right, well, what do you think? It's just a lot of bits and pieces. I'm pretty sure none of it's supposed to be in the subway, though. What's that weird thing the guy said to the lady from the subway? Fourth cataclysm. I'm joining the club. The thing is, this isn't uh, really a club. It's a scientific research group. And I understand that. But let me tell you something. I read a lot of nonfiction. And you guys are really smart about this science stuff, but I know New York. You're in. <laughs> OK. <laughs> cool, thanks, boy. Ah, uh, the Stonebrook Theater? There's a goat on the loose. I'm going to load up the car. Ghostbusters. Yes, we're the Ghostbusters. Mm, mm, 
class three, mm, possibly a class four paper. Anyway, if you just mosey around, you'll probably bump into it. Huh, all right. Well, we know it's down here somewhere. Let's split up, and if you see anything, get on the walkie. Yeah, yeah. We put a ghost in a box. <laughs> Dr. Hives, hello, welcome. Welcome to our laboratory. Is now a bad time? Actually, it is. Why don't you call and make an appointment? Um, it's actually a perfect time. We just uh, take uh, took uh, took a break. Um, do you have a seat right there? Let's start light and easy. So why are you pretending to catch ghosts? Oh, I think you should see it. Okay, and you're, you're gonna risk it for him, for that guy? Who cares if he's impressed? Come on! Oh, what a shame. We're showing him. No! <laughs> Well, it has been a real pleasure getting to meet you and and learn about your work. That's gonna leave a bruise. We gotta get it back. Let's split up. Walkie, if you see anything. And if we see any other ghosts, be sure to bag them. All right, I would like to remind everybody here that in a very short amount of time, we have seen multiple class four malevolent apparitions. He's using the devices to charge the ley lines. He's, he's creating a, a vortex. vortex. Okay, if he gets one of his machines in there and it's big enough, he's gonna be able to rip a hole right through that barrier. Okay, what is there now? The Mercado. Guys, this is the dude that was at the subway that was talking about the cataclysms. This is him. Ladies, let's gear up and hit that Mercado. Right 
bear. I know you're having a ball bringing all these ghosts into New York, but the thing is, we happen to like this world the way it is. Then you must have been afforded the basic dignity and respect of a human being, which I have been denied. <laughs> Luckily, I am not the only one seeking revenge. When these barriers are destroyed, an army of the undead will return to pester the living. Pester the living doesn't sound so bad. <laughs> to pester the living with unspeakable pain and torment. I think the word we're looking for is apocalypse. Apocalypse. Shut it down. Wait, wait, wait! Whoa! Stop what you're doing! Police are already on their way. It's over. You're going to jail, Rowan. Well, in that case... Bye. That's a weird move. See if you can shut that thing down. Okay. Well, that's over. Man, it smells like Bartholonian regrets down here. I'm sorry for the mess and for the drama. Please, come sit down. We are going to have to make the public believe that you are frauds. What? The human brain, you know, it can only handle so much. If, if, if everybody knew what was going on, you know, there'd be a panic. What? These gentlemen are on it. Let the government do their work. Thank you all so much for coming. It's fraudulent and unsafe, frankly. You know, these Ghostbusters are are creating an unnecessary panic and a sad grab for fame. Uh, they, they're painting us as delusional frauds. Man, forget them dudes, Aaron. You need to shake it off. You know how many people you saved? Yeah, let's go out, get something to eat. <laughs> uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Sandwich. Come and get your sandwich, please. You want your little sandwich, Abby? Hello, Abby. Mm -hmm. Are you okay? Quite well. What are you doing? Not my baby. Ooh. Hello, Patricia. Get out of my front! Go! Ghostbuster, all right? And nothing's gonna stop me! That's so not good. Thanks for the upgrade. Zap that slimy freak. Yo, that's one creepy weird parade. 
I just made eye contact. All right, let's pop some balloons. Holtzman, you just had to make eye contact, didn't you? I didn't mean to. Sorry to let you down. Did you just use a pun? Yes, I did. I was just waiting for the right time to use that bad boy. Here comes another attack. There. We need to blast off those weakened areas. Chance. Blast it with everything you've got. Balloon Bonanza is getting out of hand. I can't reach the trigger. This is exactly how I pictured my death. Huh. Surprisingly prone to sharp objects. Oh. Miss me? Well, come back. Am I shouting? Okay. Let's go save this city and get our terrible receptionist back. We aren't going to find another one that pretty. Everybody, there's no need to worry. We have this under control. Huh. Hello. Oh, dear brave men and women of the protection services industry. I would like to see you dance. Ghostbusters. Let's give them a proper New York welcome, shall we? Welcome to the glory days of New York City. Have fun! <laughs> any of you when you were alive because I don't enjoy any of you especially you let's we gotta save our energy come on
Too much? His name is. Seem more like a chet to me. He's all yours. What form would you prefer I take? Well, I tell you what I prefer. I prefer oh, something oh. nice and cute like a friendly oh. little ghost. Is this what you want? Something more familiar? Thank you very much for being reasonable. Uh. <laughs> this isn't good. Small and friendly. Did he not understand? Run! Run! to reverse the portal. It's gonna take an insane amount of energy. Yo, what about that nuclear thing on top of the car? If we can get those reactors super critical inside the vortex, the theta radiation could 180 the polarity. It'll turn that portal into a giant ghost trap. Nice thinking, Patty. Let's loosen his grip! <laughs> 
I wasn't gonna leave you twice. We need that rope. It's our ticket out of here. Looks like it's just me and you, Aaron. Like back in the day. Looks like Mercado again, but a lot creepier. <laughs> Patty's uncle is gonna be so mad at her. It's a minimalistic look. It's like it's us versus him to get to that rope. Forty. Was that it? Yeah, you did it. <laughs> we all did it. That's right. We all did it. <laughs> In the aftermath of the events, authorities are still trying to understand what happened in Times Square and throughout the city. The big question is, was it the four women who refer to themselves as Ghostbusters who actually supported the attack? Hello. We never know. Ah! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Sorry, I'm late. We want to thank you. Actually, we'd like you to continue to study this subject. Fully funded. You know, we need to be better prepared, just in uh -huh. case. Whatever you need going forward. Anything at all. Huh? Anything? Oh, now we are talking! Second floor is mine. You can't claim a whole floor. I just did. Not bad, Ghost Barrel. Thank you, and I proudly take that title. <laughs> <laughs> mm -mm. 